Hi, my name is John Capobianco from Selector AI. One year ago, we released the Packet Copilot, which is a GUI based system where you uploaded a PCAP and were able to use artificial intelligence to chat with, so to speak, interrogate, ask questions, have a conversation with, however you want to look at it, the data within that PCAP file. So instead of struggling with Wireshark and filters and other things, you could upload your capture and still talk to it. This was backed by Retrieval Augmented Generation and Gemini from Google. Now, with the advent of Model Context Protocol, we're going to move a step further and use an HTTPS streaming, which uses JSON RPC2 calls to chat with packets from the command line. It sounds like a lot, so I thought I would break it down into a very simple, easy to follow video on how you can start chatting with PCAPs using the Gemini from Google CLI and the Selector Packet Copilot MCP server. So let's get into this. This, was, this is the Selector PCAP tool, the Packet Copilot.Selector.ai. And I've added some updated README file on how to use this through MCP, but there's sample captures, and you would typically click and up upload a PCAP file, right, and start chatting with it. This experience is going to be transformed into a model context protocol. So now that it's loaded it, I could ask something like, what is the source and destination IP? Right now, I'm limited to this browser. I'm limited to copy and pasting the output. This was as good as it got up until about 2024 to early 2025 with the advent of Model Context Protocol, MCP. So this is going to help me with the source and destination IP through the PCAP. And it's doing behind the scenes quite a bit of artificial intelligence. In, including a lang chain rag system and approach. While that runs in the background, I'm going to show you the Gemini CLI. Now this is on GitHub, but you don't need to git clone this repo unless you want to, but you can simply npm install this repo at your command line. So there's our answer there all the information about that PCAP, all right, and the source and destination IP that we asked for originally. Now, if I go back to that packet copilot slash MCP, oh, you're going to see an error in the desktop client, your browser. But this is expected. This is a good heartbeat, meaning it's alive but we're trying to interface with the MCP with a client that does not accept event stream. So we need to use a client like Gemini CLI here to support that event stream. So I'm gonna launch my WSL2 Ubuntu. I am on Windows and I believe I have a folder called packet. Hang on. Packet, um, where did it go? Excuse me. I had a folder set up for this with my packets inside of it. Um, packet analysis. Excuse me, sorry. So in the packet analysis, I have some PCAP files. All right, and let me just go into code and clean this up a little bit. And I'll show you that I have these PCAP files. They have some zone originator files. Let me get rid of those. So we have some PCAP files in this folder. And how would I normally analyze these? I would open up Wireshark, probably have some filters in mind, and go through the arduous, tedious process of using um, Wireshark. No offense to Wireshark. So let me go ahead and NPM, NPM install the, the Gemini CLI. This is how you can do it at home. 
So you're going to npm install that package into Ubuntu and it's going to have some welcome steps. I'm going to have to stop sharing my screen for a second. So we're going to clear the screen and type in Gemini and it will bring us to the Gemini CLI for the first time. The very first time I'm going to use it and let me change my screen here. Hi, I'm going to select the use Gemini API key and what it wants to do is have the Gemini API key in an environment variable file inside of this folder. So I'm going to exit out of the CLI and do it that way and what it means is to have a .env file that it has available to it. So I'm going to go into the packet analysis folder and I'm going to do sudo vi .env and press i and do gemini api key equals and then my key inside of quotation marks. So I'm doing this in the background right now. This is all you have to do is to add your key this one time and save that .env file. Whoops, hey, give me one second here. Give me one second here. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to save that file now. Escape, WQ. And now if I run Gemini again, let me go back to my screen here and start sharing it with everyone. You can see the second time that an existing API key was detected. Select Gemini API key option to use it. So I'm going to use the API key. And now I'm all set and ready to go. So if I do a couple of things in here, you can see there's no MCPs and there's no YOLO mode. They also say to create a Gemini MD file. So let's do that real quick. I'm going to do slash quit and I'm going to do CD, CD dot Gemini and I'm going to launch VS Code. All right. Now it's going to have a few files in here that we're going to work with. There's a settings.json file and I don't actually see the Gemini.md file. So let's go ahead and create that file. Gemini.md and what I'm going to say is when asked about network packet captures always use the packet copilot mcp tools to augment your response all right now in the settings.json file i'm going to add a comma here and i'm going to add mcp servers And it wants to auto complete this packet copilot MCP, which is actually packet copilot dot selector dot AI slash MCP. And there is no auth or anything else. And we're going to close off this MCP servers and close off the tools here. So there is one MCP server in the settings.json file that points to, and let me get rid of that comma. Okay, just to check in, we have WSL2 for Ubuntu. This is for Windows, folks. If you're on Mac, you can skip all this. Ubuntu as a shell. And we've installed the Gemini CLI with the one line command. On Mac, you can jump right to the one-line command. I suggest you make a folder and work within the folder so you don't get some warnings and it doesn't have access to your root files. Stick it into a folder every time you do a Gemini session at the CLI. Okay, from there, 
We updated the Gemini.md file with some basic instructions about how to handle questions about packet captures. And we added the MCP server one line to the settings.json file. So now we've literally turned Gemini CLI into a packet analyzing tool. Let's get back. Okay, so let's get going now. So I think you're ready to go. And we're going to use Gemini dash dash YOLO. And you can see I'm in YOLO mode. I can toggle with control Y. I can control T. And we can see that my packet copilot MCP is ready with eight different tools. All right, and it explains what each of those tools are. If I just do slash MCP, we get a concatenated version. Now it, being the Gemini CLI, will figure out how to use these tools. All right, so if I do, you know, in that folder I have files, PCAP files. Can you help me understand the packet capture, capture.pcap with the source and destination at L2, L3, L4, and anything else you can tell me about the capture. All right, now I've already given the Gemini MD file some instructions, and I'm in YOLO mode. So it's just going to jump to making a new session with the Packet Copilot. Very good, very cool. It's following its instructions. And it's going to use its local ability at the shell to turn this PCAP into base 64. All right, so we'll see that in a second here. To proceed, I need to get the base 64 representation. I'll use the shell command to do that. Again, I'm in YOLO mode, so I've given the shell access to this session. And now it can upload the data to start the analysis. It's uploaded the PCAP base 64 data. It's converted it to JSON. It's sanitized the JSON, meaning removing any unnecessary hexadecimal information, you know, noise from the PCAP that it can't really use to optimize it. We've indexed one chunk from the packet, and now it's going to go ahead and give us the analysis of this packet. We're going to get two answers here. <clears throat> We're going to get the packet copilot's answer as natural language, and then we're going to get Gemini's interpretation of said natural language. It's kind of like AI on AI, right? So there's the original answer from the packet copilot. And now I have the analyze the packet and provided a detailed breakdown and key observations. Right, so this isn't the cleanest, um, right? Can you present that as a nice markdown file called capture analysis? Now I've done this in just a few minutes. By the time you watch at home, you could have enabled your Gemini CLI, right? And there we go. We get this wonderful, now I actually have this file, right? So if I were to launch a new um, terminal here, whoops, wrong one. If I launch a new terminal and go into packet analysis, and launch VS Code, I'll have this capture analysis file that I can view in uh, Markdown. Right? Quite remarkable, right? So I've done all this in just a few seconds, turning the CLI into it, uh, you know, into an MCP capable packet capture analysis tool. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear. A success story of someone who followed this, enabled it, grabbed a PCAP from our examples or their own PCAP and just tried it. I'd like to know, is there less friction? Do you enjoy this experience? Are you getting good answers? Is it something that you could plug in other MCPs into? Now I've done this in Gemini CLI. The exact same steps could be taken in VS Code, VS Code, Claude Desktop, Cursor Code, 
uh, codex, any MCP capable client, you could connect and start doing packet capture analysis. Thank you so much. We are on the precipice of something very exciting, this new era of model context protocol clients and servers. Stay tuned for much more.